What's up everybody, today a very small update went live to Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, so we're going to talk about what changed in Warzone, and then I just got to jump over to Modern Warfare 3, patch notes, because there is something that affects Warzone, but not really, you'll see. Um, so the main point of today's update was to fix a few bugs, fix an issue presenting CDL bundles, uh, from unlocking properly, fix an issue causing event progress and not track properly, fix an issue preventing emblems from being awarded properly for prestige level progress, Fix an issue causing some soap operator skins to not have the appropriate menu, imagery, and text. That's not really worried about. What we're worried about is more in here. Um, and just note that additional weapon adjustments will be live with Season 1 Reloaded update next week on the 17th. Which, of course, is what we would expect. Because why would they do a big pass of weapons today? And then not be able to do their usual mid-season pass um, next week. So, the Interceptor got nerfed again today. Um, it was nerfed before they went on holiday break where it reduced the headshot multiplier. But now they reduce the max damage range from uh, the max damage, which is before the first damage drop off. That's the close range damage from 95 down to 85 and the minimum damage, which is the after the last drop off. I don't know if the interceptor has two drop offs, three drop offs, whatever it is. Um, but after the last drop off, so your long range, uh, that's down from 84 to 78. So they reduced it 10 up close, six down low. That maybe, depending on where you land your shots, it's going to add one more shot to the time to kill. Um, it's not really super reducing anything. It's still going to be a three to four shot down instead of two to three shots. Um, super duper frustrating. Hopefully over the next week, they'll see that that wasn't enough. And then when we get the weapons pass next week, it'll be nerfed way more. I'm okay with the damage being where it is, but it needs more like gun kick or it needs to flinch more when users are getting shot whatever it is it just needs to be harder to use more than anything and then the other weapon adjustment was in the attachment adjustments the snake shots are reactivated um but now the max damage per pellet is down to 12 from 34 so that's a huge nerf i don't expect the snake shot meta to come back with this could be wrong of course but this is significant it's Barely more than a third of the damage it was before. Not super worried about snake shots coming back. And then some more bug fixes. Fix more collision issues. Fix an issue allowing players to duplicate loadout drop markers. Uh, fix an issue causing dead silence to unintentionally appear on kill camps. Fix an issue allowing players to exploit cash deposit balloon and, blunt and plunder. Fix an issue allowing players to duplicate items in the backpack menu. Fix an issue causing players to get stuck in the gulag. That's the big bug fix that I want to highlight. People know people that use it as free wins or it's cost them wins. People have been on both ends of it, of course. I haven't ran into that bug yet, but that was a major bug that needed fixing. Fix an issue causing the after action report to end abruptly. Fix an issue causing some attachments to not appear correctly when equipped on certain weapons. Fix an issue preventing the dual commas unlock challenge from tracking properly. And fix an issue causing players to be sent back to the front menu while navigating attachments in gunsmith. That did happen to me whenever I would like remove all from a blueprint, so that's a good fix. The big bug fix, obviously, is the Gulag bug. That's all the Warzone changes that came. There is one important Mono Warfare patch note to note from today. That the AMR, the, uh, the aftermarket part, the double barrel that was this week's weekly challenge attachment, could, was unlocked but couldn't be equipped. Um, that, I went and messed with it in the firing range for a couple minutes. It doesn't seem to really change the time to kill. It doesn't change the fire rate. You're not shooting two bullets at once. It just, like, alternates the barrel, makes the recoil weirder. It's Unless they buff it, it's just not going to be worth using. Um, the WSP9 incompatible hybrid optic attachments can no longer be equipped. Uh, nope. Some people are using the WSP9, but certainly not with hybrid optic attachments. And then handguns, the TYR, the TIR, whatever you call it, once unlocked, the Jack Beholder rifle kit attachment can now be equipped. Of course, nobody's going to be using that. The main one I wanted to highlight there was the AMR9 um, aftermarket kit, aftermarket part, whatever, just which doesn't even seem worth it. But that's today's update. Um, the big thing is the Interceptor was nerfed, but probably not enough. Um, everything else really isn't too important other than that Gulag bug fix. But uh, yeah, that's the update. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're scrolling down there, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell so you get any of these videos when updates come out, make big updates, small updates, and whatever content I put out. And also a link to my bio will be my Twitch. Of course, I'm live almost every night. More nights are on Warzone than not. So just pop in a chat. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want me to try. Um, and all my other socials are linked down there below as well. Instagram, TikTok, same content, just whatever platform you prefer or both if you want to throw me those follows. And Twitter's a lot of more just life stuff, bill stuff, whatever. Um, but I will see you on Urzikstan, Almazra, and Vondo. Get frying. Have a good day. Bye.